Hello, I'm Peter Kendall from the Elliott Wave Financial Forecast. What I'd like to do today is go back in time to October, the October issue of the Elliott Wave Financial Forecast, which directed readers' attention to a likely second wave low in gold. At the time, gold was at $1,810 per ounce. This is the chart the financial forecast showed the following month in November. EWFF stated, gold is on the move. Gold's bullish potential is large. Prices will rally to new all-time highs. As you can see, gold was just beginning its current advance. As the headline on the chart indicates, gold's wave structure was positioned for a further rally. EWFF directed readers' attention to the May 2023 issue when we told readers that there were two key levels, 1882 and 1805. EWFF stated both were possible targets. The dotted line on the chart connects these two levels, which were met in May and October. This proved to be the base for the rally. The bottom of the chart showed the commitment of traders' data, which confirmed gold's bullish potential. As this more recent chart shows, gold's rally is, in fact, extending to new all-time highs. This is the latest update from Steve Hotchberg's short-term update on Wednesday. Here's that low and double bottom at 1810 on October 6. Wave 1 carried to 2000, while wave 1 of 3 hit 2135 on December 4. After some backing and filling, wave 3 was off again. We think it has higher to go. The gold bugs waited a long time for this. Hopefully they are enjoying it. The next issue of the Elliott Wade Financial Forecast will be out April 5th. Don't miss it. We will update the situation in gold at that time.